Um, this video is available with me speaking and going a lot slower. If you would like to see that, I make that available to my Patreon subscribers. You can subscribe for as little two, as as little as two dollars a month, and um, you get a lot more access to me. But anyway, here I am working on the little pony's face. Um, I would completely wet in the bridle and then kind of drop in the colors just to keep it soft. And um, okay, now I'm working on his boot and I'm just using a pure black here. Um, I get the area that I'm working in wet with clear water and then I drop in the paint and that just keeps everything more soft. And then I work on the foreground underneath the horse and underneath the man. And I'm trying to keep these colors kind of grayed down to to not take away from the pony. So uh, whenever I use green, I would add a little bit of naphthol red to it. And uh, also trying to enhance the shadows here. And you can see that I don't work um, quickly. Uh, there's a lot of layers in this painting. So as you see with this little clip, uh, it doesn't really look like I'm doing much and that's because I'm putting in such light little uh, delicate layers that I allow to dry and then I go in again and put in another layer, especially for the subtle areas of the muscle, um, the, the different tones of the muscles to create definition for the muscles. Um, you really have to work in some delicate layers that you just have to put down a layer, let it dry, put down a layer, let it dry. So that part of this video may not look very interesting because you don't see much changing because it's it's such a subtle change. But anyway, I just I wanted to add some details to the bridle. So again, I would go in with clear water first and then drop in my colors and I tried to change each little brush stroke, um, every little drop of color a little bit. Like one drop would be a black and then I'd put some more ultramarine in and then um, just change out different colors just to keep it more interesting looking so it's not such a flat black and to add some interest so um, here I'm just kinda adding in some really dark details um, the final details are a little bit darker and that just helps the painting pop a lot um, one painter that I follow calls this adding the jewelry and in this case it's almost literally like jewelry because it's the harness and when you add these little details in a painting at the end especially it really makes the whole painting just come alive so that's why I was trying to get some of the details of the harness without overdoing it though if I put in every little single detail it would look overdone so here I'm just putting in some shadows again. And again, I'm trying to make lines in the shadows to draw your eye towards the pony. So I'm trying to keep the eye in the painting and create little currents of shade. Here is the completed painting that I ended up submitting to the American Association of Equine Artists. So I did meet my deadline and I got it submitted. I was actually painting on it the same day I submitted it, so it was very last minute. But I'd been out of town and then my son got the flu, so it's just been kind of crazy. But um, I'm really happy with how it came out. I added quite a bit of um, shadows right in here, and I think that really made it look a lot more realistic and a little bit of the dappling that these gray Welsh ponies have. Um, there's his little friend and like I said I darkened the tail and tried to strike a good balance between realism and keeping areas soft so um, there are some hard edges where the hardware is on the the um, harness but there's also a lot of softness in the harness which is challenging especially right here you can see that's a good example um, where I kind of blurred some edges and then let some edges be really obvious and I think 
this guy came out great. I like how he's just kind of abstracted, and I love how that orange in his facial um, tones or the hues of his face really glow. So I'm happy with that. I think the pony looks good. And you can see my little splashes that I added at the end to just kind of liven up the foreground just a touch. You don't want to overdo it. It's easy to go too far. So that's the painting all finished up and we'll see if I get into the competition. Uh, this is my first time entering this competition, so it'll be interesting to see if I'm able to get in. Um, the only concern I do have with this painting is that this um, picture is, the reference photo was of the pony. Um, it was just like a side of the pony. It wasn't like in three-quarter view or anything. And, and typically a uh, rule of thumb for painting animals and people is um, have the face turned or the body turned a little bit. Um, so you're not looking at one side of the animal or person. And I broke that rule and it does make it look a little more static. So that's my one critique of this painting. Um, there are other critiques too, of course, but that's the one thing that I'm not crazy about this image, but at the same time, I just, I was going through all the images that I have and I had to use a picture that I took. I had to use my own reference material for this painting. And I just love the story that this picture tells. I love how this guy is so much taller than the pony. And um, they're standing waiting for the parade to start. I just think it's an, there's an interesting story behind the actual image. So I like that about it. And um, I don't know. I did take a chance with choosing this reference photo. But we'll see what happens. Okay, thanks so much for joining you guys. I will add a longer version of this video to my Patreon, and if you would like to subscribe for only $2 a month, you're welcome to do that. And also, you don't have to pay until the first of the month, so if you join, say, in the middle of the month, you won't even have to pay um, until the first of next month. So you can always subscribe and see how you like it. And then before you even have to pay anything, you can unsubscribe and that's fine. And you know, I, I definitely want to provide value to my Patreon subscribers. So you're welcome to join and come check it out and see what you think. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I have another video that's already in the works. It's almost done. It's about painting backgrounds and how to choose a good background and um, how to make your background kind of support the main focus of your painting and I've already recorded that I just have to get it edited and I'll get that up for you guys ASAP and I'll see you then so you guys take care thanks so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a like um, add a comment in the comments I love to see what you guys are working on tell me what your art goals are and love to hear what's going on with you 